So I didn't even know this until I woke up today, but the reviews are already out for Elemental, which is crazy because this doesn't come out for almost a month, just like Indiana Jones. It's, I think, two weeks before Indiana Jones. What's really weird to me is why is Disney cannibalizing itself in the box office? Because Little Mermaid is out right now, and then in a couple of weeks, this movie will be out. Those are... Two Disney movies. Pixar is Disney. And then, like, two weeks after this movie comes out, Indiana Jones comes out. Why are you releasing all these big movies so close to each other? It's very, very strange. It's eating itself. You're competing with yourself. So I just don't quite understand that move. There's a whole year left. We have at least six months left out of the year. Why wouldn't you space these out at least a month or two between each other? But, you know, whatever. This is why Disney is losing so much money. But critics don't like this movie either. And I will say, this doesn't mean it's going to be a bad movie. It could be a good movie. This is just bad news for the movie. Because some people do look at this shit and say, well, the critics didn't like it. Not many, because it really has no bearing on the movie at all. People are going to see it if they're going to see it. Now... The thing that's interesting about this, though, that I just wanted to point out is that this low score is the lowest in the history of the studio. Pixar's Elemental becomes lowest rated original movie in studio history on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty bad. It's more bad news for Disney. Disney's been having a bad month because, well, Little Mermaid's probably going to lose money. In fact, I'm almost going to probably say it's not going to make its money back. i Almost want to guarantee you that at this point. Because of the fact that globally the movie is just a, a, dur- a turd. And no one's going to see it. Everyone's going to see Fast X. And I would imagine this coming weekend they're all going to go see Spider-Man. I would expect the drop-off for L- Little Mermaid to be catastrophic. It could be up to 70%, which would be awful for that movie. Because I don't think the international numbers are going to come back in. It'll probably do okay domestically, but that's not enough to carry the movie. The movie likely needs seven hundred to eight hundred million dollars just to make a little bit of money. Because of the marketing, they've been promoting the shit out of it. I would love to see what that marketing budget is, but we're not gonna get access to that. I will say it's probably gonna take about eight hundred million for that movie to even make a cent. And then you're gonna roll into Elemental, and once again, you're gonna have another movie, possibly. Losing a little bit of money. Now, the interesting thing here about this is this. Elemental projected to earn 40 million box office opening, ranking among Pixar's lowest. So that's two records. Two records for Pixar. Lowest ratings, review scores ever. And lowest domestic box office. Two two bad records for this movie. Not off to a good start. Elemental projected to earn $40 million. And here's the thing. That's just domestic. Who knows what this movie is going to make uh, worldwide. But if this movie does fail, and there's a good chance that it will, because it's going to go up against The Flash. And I do think The Flash is going to make money. Particularly thanks to Keaton. I know that there's reports out there saying it's going to fail. I believe it when I see it because don't underestimate the power of nostalgia. We've seen that with Spider-Man No Way Home. The difference is Spider-Man No Way Home was actually a really good movie. However, with Flash, you have audience scores up there with No Way Home. The only unknown factor here is Ezra Miller Does Ezra Miller actually drive people away from theaters at this point? We won't know until that movie comes out. That's going to be a really interesting situation to watch. Did people actually pay attention to his crazy bullshit that he did over the past two years? That's the only kind of unknown variable for that movie. Uh, But I I just don't see it flopping. Not with all of the nostalgia and Michael Keaton front and center and all that marketing. It's definitely going to not help Elemental do well. It's going to crush Elemental. 
at the end of the day, even if they cannibalize each other. So, yeah, this is pretty bad. Only two of Pixar's 23 theatrically released films have ever opened to less than $40 million. I believe one of them is likely Lightyear, which also lost money. This would be two in a row for Pixar, three in a row in the animated department for Disney, even though they're, they're all Disney, but Strange Worlds, or Strange World, or whatever it was, that was released under uh, Disney Animations banner, I think. Whatever the hell they called it, it wasn't released under the Pixar banner. Why they have two, and they're not like a combined studio, I don't know. But I do know that this isn't looking good. And, you know, if you look at it, let's say you have Indiana Jones, Little Mermaid, and Elemental all flop. And to be fair, Guardians of the Galaxy ain't making a shitload of money either. I think it's just now getting close to $800 million, which is what it likely needs to make money. That doesn't mean that it made a ton of money. I think it would have made more if there wasn't so much competition in the way. But you've got a lot of movies with a lot of a lot, super high budgets, and people aren't going to see them as much as they used to. I think the family aspect of, of Disney is broken. And you know who stepped up to take that was Illumination because Mario didn't have these problems at all. So, you know, I, I don't know. I think this is going to be really interesting to watch. Elemental already breaking two records. Well, it hasn't broken this one yet. Oh, it has not broken <laughs> the box office low record yet, but I'd say it's a safe bet that it could. Now, we're still a few weeks out. These are just projections. I don't know if this is actually going to be where it lands, but if it does, that's embarrassing. I think families are turning off to Disney. I think Universal's picking up their slack. I think Universal's parks are better. And, you know... I would tell you to go visit them both and say, but, you know, I don't want to promote Disney's parks. Go to Universal's, but Universal's parks, I mean, they got Harry Potter, Mario. There's a Zelda thing coming. They're talking about making a Minions thing. It's got the franchises that kids like. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.